Aspen University, CJ100, Ethics and Law Enforcement. My name's Andre Rosedale. I'm the instructor for this course. This is discussion, this is module six, discussion question one, which reads, in criminal justice, it is crucial that legal professionals remember and believe in the basic tenets of due process and be ever vigilant against the influence of prejudice or bias in the application of law towards the pursuit of justice. Judges must render decision according to law rather than personal beliefs or values. As a judge, you must decide whether a particular piece of artwork is obscene. The artist has painted a series of sex scenes, including bondage, sadomasochism, bestiality, and necrophilia, interspersed with paintings of nude children at play. She states that her art has redeemed has redeeming social qualities because it is a statement of many of the many faces of humanity. The series of paintings is being displayed in a public gallery supported by city and federal funds. The district attorney has filed an injunction to close the show due to obscenity. How would you rule? How would you make your decision? So where does society's moral compass get calibrated? In December of 1871, Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was first published. Since then, it has been found that possibly Lewis Carroll was a pedophile, and I have a reference to that. To Kill a Mockingbird has been a literary standard in the United States, but has recently been removed from schools due to its offensive racial language. Do we, as an involved society, decide that because, possibly, an author may have written a book about his child love interest, it is time to erase his literary work? Have we become so politically correct that we bury the unpleasant facts of the past and sugarcoat it for our children? Writer and philosopher George Santayana stated, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Does the recalibration of society's moral compass condemn society to repeat its past mistakes? And I have um, placed uh, five references that I used when I researched um, this topic to write what I just wrote. Any questions, uh, send, me, send it to my email, and I look forward to your response in this. I look forward to your response, your initial response, with a good APA um, reference as well.